A ship travels due south 20 miles per hour. It spots a lighthouse on a bearing of south 12 degrees east. Five hours later, it spots the same lighthouse on a bearing of south 64 degrees east. How far is the ship from the lighthouse? To the nearest tenth of a mile. And what we're asking is how far is the ship from the lighthouse the second time it spots the lighthouse. So the first trick here is to draw a picture. So I'm going to have a ship and it's going to spot, well it's going to travel south. Okay, so here's my ship and it travels south and it travels 20 miles per hour for 5 hours. So 20 times 5 is 100. So it travels a total distance of 100 miles. Now, the first time it spots this lighthouse, I'm going to draw a little lighthouse here. Okay. The first time it spots this lighthouse, it is on a bearing of south 12 degrees east, which means you're going to start at the south and go 12 degrees towards the east. So this angle would be 12 degrees. Okay. The second time it spots the lighthouse, it's on an angle of south 64 east. So if we had an imaginary south axis, we would have to rotate 64 degrees towards the east. Okay? Now, this is the drawing right here. And what am I trying to find? I'm trying to find the distance from the ship the second time it spots the lighthouse to the lighthouse. So I'm trying to find this side right here. Call it what you want to. Call it A, call it B, call it C, call it X. It doesn't matter. I'm going to call this A. That's what I want to find. Now, this angle is inside the triangle and I can use it. This angle is not inside the triangle. I cannot use it. But what I know is the, the ship was traveling south. And this line is south. And so that's a straight line. And a straight line is 180 degrees. So this 64, this angle here is the supplement to 64. So it's 180 minus 64. And 180 minus 64 is 116 degrees. Okay, so now I know this angle, I know this angle, and I know the side between them. What do we have? We have an angle, side, angle, triangle. And for an angle, side, angle, triangle, we should use the law of sines. So, I have an angle, side, angle, triangle. I want to use the law of sines. This is side A. If this is side A, this has to be angle A. If this is angle A, then just for simplicity's sakes, I'm going to call this angle B, which makes this side B. And then I'm going to call this angle C, which makes this side C. Okay, now I have everything labeled. I write the law of sines. A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. And I look at what I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find side A. I know angle A. I know angle B. And I know side C. And I also know angle C because I know angle A, B, and C have to add up to 180 degrees. So somewhere on my paper, scratch work or whatever you want to call it, I'm going to say 180 minus 116 minus 12. And if I do that, 180 minus 116 minus 12, I come up with angle C equal to 52 degrees. Okay? So now I know angle C. What can I do? I can use that equation a over sine A equals C over sine C to find my unknown. So I plug in my numbers. I don't know A. I know big A is 12 degrees. I know big little C is 100 miles. And I know big C is 52 degrees. 
So I have an equation, A over sine of 12 degrees equals 100 over sine of 52 degrees. To solve this, I multiply by sine of 12 degrees. I get A equals 100 times the sine of 12 degrees divided by the sine of 52 degrees. And if I run those numbers through my calculator and I'm in degree mode, I should get side A equal to 26.4 miles to the nearest tenth of a mile. So the answer is at point B, the ship is 26.4 miles from the lighthouse.